pause, let's get started. Welcome to today's class. So, Lexi, you're driving, that's fabulous. Um, and just um, jump on when you can. Lexi's put lots of questions in, which is awesome. Uh, be sure to, so just a reminder, so every week we've got multiple immersion classes, right? So you've got a, a Monday, a Wednesday one with me, Monday's at 12.30, Thursday is 9.30 a.m. Then every second week you've got a mindset class with Julie on a Tuesday. And then also every Friday you're going to have a Facebook um, activation kind of live from me jumping into the Facebook group. So you have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of opportunities to ask questions, get our eyes on your work. Plus every month uh, we'll also be having Nick who did our Facebook live, uh, our Facebook ads class. She's going to run a, a Q and a class with you. So if you're running ads or you want to start running ads or you're looking at anything with that, you can bring everything to that class and she'll have a look at it for you and give you ideas, give you feedback, um, you know, what's working, what's not working and stuff as well. So so much support is available to you. It's just up to you to drop into the classes. So what I would do, look forward at the classes that are coming up and then make sure that you go to the Google Doc, which is on all of our posts in the support group, click on the link and then go in and put your question. Whatever it is, just go and put them in there because this will help you to keep moving forward at the speed of light. So we're going to go through um, the questions that are in there today. And how it works as well is I try to answer all of them at the moment. I'm sure we will. I'll stay on for, as many, as, for all of them. And then um, whoever's on here will get answered first. And if you can't be on live, you just watch the recording, put your questions in, watch the recording. And we'll put in a timestamp around when we started um, your question as well. So therefore, you've got all of that too. Okay? Clear as mud? Yes? <laughs> now, this shouldn't say Stina but that's okay. You should just say immersion class. Oops. Oh, this is, this has to be updated, but don't worry. Okay. All good. That was 12 PM. Okay. So here's what Lexi she just popped in her name and then her questions, right? So that's all you do. If you've got multiple questions, just put them in. Um, and then we've got another one. I think Julie's going to pop one in as well as we're going through. If anything kind of pops up, Nat, that you're thinking of, oh, I want to ask one, feel free to drop it in at the end. I, I put mine under the 30th. So if you keep scrolling down. Ah, oh, good job. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. So Lexi, there you're quite, I think that we've just yes. had a bit of, um, this hasn't been updated. So all good. Let me just delete that. All right. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, we'll do both, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Lexi, do you want me to come back to yours to when you can talk or are you okay? No, I'm good. I can talk. I'm just not going to use a video. Are you in the car? I'm just about to get in the car, but I'm only driving like five minutes so, or 10 minutes. That's not All right, well, why don't I come back to yours and then that way okay. you can be more present for what I'm talking about. Okay, sure. Thank you. How do you let your customer, Natalie wants to know, how do you let your customers know about the change and price? So when you say the change, what do you mean? I meant like change in price. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Um, well, you mean, you, so you've got existing clients? Yep. So really it's about reaching out to them with a bit of excitement around, you know, you've created some new packages. Um, you've got a limited number of spots for this, you know, maybe you've only got like a couple, five spots. Uh, and you would share it with them. So like you wouldn't share it with them straight up, but you say you pull together like some awesome packages, you know, based on what your clients are really loving. Um, and because that she's a previous client, you've got a very special offer for her. So you might want to, with existing clients, create a, um, a, a bonus offer for them. So whether you're giving them something extra for free um, or you could offer them, you know, if they bring a friend then you could give them, you know, a discount or something. Um, but yeah, this is just your prices now. And, and, you know, if they talk around, oh, wow, that's different from last time and go, yeah, you got it so cheap. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, you know, that was a limited offer. This is exactly what I'm doing now. So don't be caught up in over giving to people that you've given before. Yeah. You have to value your work and you deserve to. Your work is incredible. So, you know, that's fine. At, at any time, like I've just upped to my mastermind prices. 
because I know the outcome. I know that what they can get out of it, right? At any time you can change your pricing and you can just say like it's a limited offer for the first five people at this. After that, it's going up. So, you know, and I think you're, you're then showing them as well. Like you, you're a businesswoman now, right? You know that you create incredible images for them and still at their pricing is still, you know, uh, such a bargain. So they've just been, and I would just like play on it. Like, you know, if they say anything, I'll go, yeah, you are so lucky. Like those prices were ridiculous. Like I didn't make a cent out of that, you know, and have a bit of a giggle with it with them and go like, that is so lucky, you know? So yes, but you know, obviously if I'm going to run a business and eat and make, you know, uh, this is what, this is what it is now. But again, this is only for the next five people. This is a special offer just for the next five people. Um, and I wanted to reach out to you because I absolutely adored working with you. Um, I absolutely loved, you know, what, whoever your family was. Just want to make sure I'm recording. Yeah. Um, you know, I, so really, you know, like I, the reason I'm reaching out to you is because we had so much fun. And now that maybe they've got a new baby or maybe that their family's grown or maybe their kids are at school or maybe it's been a while, uh, maybe she's, got a new husband, whatever it is, reaching out to them. And it's the excitement that comes with it, yeah? So it's like, yeah. I don't know, I thought of you because, and so something personal around, you know, what you've seen. Um, but this is only, so I created this especially for you. And I only, it could be just three spots. I'm only doing this now for three. And I just wanted to, I, I reached out to you first because I, I so enjoyed working with your family. Yeah. And then again, the price that she got before, literally crack up laughing about it. Like it was ridiculous. Yeah. And, and you can even, I think it's kind of good to have that bit of humor around, you know, before, not in a, not in a negative kind of like a, you know, self doubt talk way, but it's like, oh, what a learning I have, you know, so you can kind of, if you can bring in a bit of that humor that, that also might help you to, to heal past that and go, yeah, okay, well, I wised up on that. Does that help to answer that question? Uh, yeah, it does. And I was also wondering, like, would you announce that you were upping your prices, like on your Facebook page? No, or no nothing. No, no. Okay. So the pricing, comp so when you, so let's talk about that. So marketing is social media. It's your emails that go out. It's your posts, your videos, your at networking events, right? The sales conversation is when it's one-to-one. -one. So marketing is what you do to everyone. Now, when you're talking, when you're doing your videos or your emails, remember you're talking directly to your dream client, your Lexi or whoever, you know, you've called yours, Natalie. So that way, when you're doing a video or writing an email or a post, just talk directly to her or him. Okay. That's called marketing. Marketing is like casting a wide net. Now, because we've done the work on dream clients and creating groups and pages and stuff, it does help to narrow our net so it's not too wide. But then when you invite people in, so you're going to invite um, these existing clients of yours, reach out to them. It's You have a special offer, <laughs> right? You're so excited. You've created these whole new packages, which are just going to talk about the outcome and why they should have it, why they have to have it, you know? So talk about, you know, the outcome of, you know, not only just, another fun day together or a few hours to create these amazing things. But you know, the, the new packages and stuff that you've created are incredible. Yeah. Um, but you can't keep doing it at this price and you only have, you know, like three spots available. I wanted to reach out to you first because I adored working with you and your family. Yeah. If you are, are you looking to refresh or are you looking to, um, you know, to, and you could even put a link to some of your recent work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like something that you might be thinking about, especially for that family. You could say, you know, this is some of the recent work and share something that's similar around like that. But say we would create something very unique for you and then, and then just ask them, like, is this something that you'd like to do? Not talking about pricing or anything at that time. You're talking about, is this something they want? You're showing off some of your great work in a non-salesy way. Like, hey, buy this. Here's my offer. This is what we can do. You've done it in a really lovely way. Go back. You can go back and watch the recording for this and just get some of the language that I used and put that into your message drop that into the facebook support group and i'll have a look at it for you and i'm happy to kind of go through and um edit it or shoot it to me um via messenger as well yeah and then just build that you, you're having conversation with them 
I'm creating, I've created these awesome packages, right? I thought of you because I adored working with your family. Yeah. And I've only got limited, so you've got to create the limited. This is what I was thinking for, for your family. Um, something like this. This is some of the recent, recent work I've been doing. So again, taste tester, case study, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I think that, you know, and then, you know, just a little bit around, you know, but obviously we would create something really re unique for you. And then it's just the question, it's the call to action. Is this, do you want to, do you want to chat around, you know, having this call? Do you want to, um, is this something you'd like to do? And then you pull them in and you have a phone conversation with them or jump them on a on, um, video. Oh. <laughs> Mine's on my lap right now. She's getting all cuddles because it's raining outside. The kitchen. <laughs> it's being so needy. I know. Does that help to answer your question, Natalie? Yeah, it really does. Thanks. And that goes to everyone, right? So you have now created an incredible offer. One thing I will say, don't talk about, don't like, and I've seen this and I've done it. But try to refrain from putting up posts about your mastermind, about your program, about your thing. You are, you are there to, um, so you've got like the name of your group, but you are there to show up and give value and have a call to action, which is just to jump on a call. If you have a look in my group, I never do a post that says, my mastermind program is 90 days. I've got two spots left. Do you want to join? The only work time that I would do that is if I was already doing, um, Say I did like a five day Facebook live, but it was like um, a masterclass every day at eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock. And I scheduled it in, I promoted that every day I was, and I was going to talk about a specific topic. Then at the end of that, I would talk about my masterclass and uh, my mastermind, but I wouldn't just do a post about it in the group. Cause again, that's selling. Right. What we want to do is we want to serve. But every single post you do has to have a call to action, a booking, like a link to book, book a call with you. You have to invite people in. All right, let's have a look at your next question. How do I lay out the value of having a session with me and what they will receive? So you know the packages that we started to pull together, Natalie? It'd be great to kind of put the link. So when you do these questions, drop the link in here. Let me see if I can find it and I'll pull it up and quickly show you. So so for a photographer, here we go. So to, to drop this into the um, chat, Natalie, or into that document, all you do is you just go share I'll show everyone. You just go share. I already have access to this, but if I didn't, you would need to send it to me at team at remums.com.au. And then you copy this link here. And it's this link then that you would just paste in with your question. Okay. Does that make sense? And so sure. then when we come to it, I just click on it, it would open up and then I could talk about it here. No worries. So with laying out your offer, it, this is your offer, Natalie. Okay. Yep. So your offer is first deeply understanding where they are right now, yep. what their outcomes will be. Yep. So this is it. It's all in here. We've already templated out for you. Just keep going through this. Yep. You can go back over and watch the recording from our one-on-one -on -one session as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's here. It's really mapping out. Okay. Well, what do they get? So up here, you've spoken around, <laughs> you know, that you deeply understand where they are, right? They're powerful statements around where your dream client is right now. And we've, we've got to be in there to kind of keep, get you started, but yeah. I want you to keep going through this and then I want you to send it back to me and we'll keep working on it and get it nailed for you. Yeah. Um, and then look at, you know, list, you know, up to five outcomes on what they're going to get, feel, shift, what's it going to be like? Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then here, these are your packages. So this is the options that they can select. Now yeah. we've, we've created a lot of different options just to brain dump it. Because you could do maternity, you could do newborn, and you could do family. So depending on who you're talking to, if they're pregnant, then you would talk to them about maternity and newborn package. Yeah. Remember, you would only have this available in your back pocket if they only wanted newborn. Yeah. But you yeah, I um, was going to work on that this afternoon. Okay. I, um, I've got a bunch of notes and stuff to, to put in, so... 
Okay, so this cool. is it here. What was your question exactly? It was how do I lay out, yeah, how do I lay out the value of having a session with me and what they will receive? Yep. So this is it. It's all about the outcome. Okay. So your time, so we put the time here, but this wouldn't be there. We just did this so that we could understand how much of your time is actually invested in yeah. one hour maternity session. How much of your time is actually invested in editing 10 images? And then do I just use the stuff in there? For like my videos and stuff like that absolutely okay every single one of these statements can then become a video if this is all content you can reuse everywhere yeah yeah you could even create an ad off of this you know inviting people in yeah. i'm just about to do so on my offer i'm just about to create like an online checkout page yeah. and on that it will have a video of me talking directly to where they are and some of their objections and some of the objections of, of working with you. It's really important to understand that. Is it I've worked with photographers before and they just high pressure you into buying, yeah. you know, expensive packages at the end. That yeah. might be something you need to talk to. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you don't like you say, look, you know, my packages are clearly lined out at the beginning. Yeah. Um, I'd only do every package includes some printed photos. Because I, I want you to have them printed because I know that otherwise they just go into a USB and they get locked in the drawer. And then yeah. I do have other options for you if you want to buy some artwork. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all here. This is the document. You got to get it all out in here, get super clear on what it is from here. And then you can, but then from here, we put it into different places. Okay, cool. 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 All right. Thanks. What else we got? Um, All right, so that was from, I'm just looking at timing. That was from zero to, where are we? Like, let's just say 17 minutes. Lexi, you're there, darling. All right, let's go over your questions. So I've started a Facebook business page and a group for content. Do you suggest sharing my own or is there a, yeah, using other people? <clears throat> so I think you kind of, as I was reading through your questions, it's almost like you were answering them for yourself, which is awesome. <laughs> um, I would definitely be using your own content. Now yeah. in saying that, let's say you see an article or you see someone else's post, use that for inspiration and then go and create your own for it. So you okay. might see an article or a study or just to, you know, how people do images with quotes and whatever. And then from that, you might get a little inspo for your own, for your own post. Nice. But I would always okay. use yours. Yeah. Cause that's what I was starting to think. If I'm just putting up a bunch of articles, then I'm not positioning myself as the expert anymore. Exactly. I'm saying, yeah. Okay. Good. So you know how like awesome. I share a couple of templates, like you know, around managing mindset and stuff. Like I've seen you share a few other ones. So what yep. I would do is pull together all the ones that you love, and then go and mm -hmm. find your own. Okay. And then have your own. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I use some like I think they call them infographics, yeah. like where there's graphics but they've got info on them. Well, they've got like six ways to do this, but it's not an article as such. Yeah, but you can create yeah. that and have that as a little download. It could be a little lead magnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't even think about creating something like that, which I can do now in Canva because I'm getting much better at using that. <laughs> I always think about this, like, it's, there are people out there that I love to follow mm -hmm. because they have either been where I am but then they have massive businesses. And I look at, okay, well, what's the strategy they're using? What's the process? How are they talking? Now, a lot of their language doesn't resonate with me, but I'm not following them for their language. I'm following them for the strategy, like what they actually do. So yeah. you know, if there are other people in your industry that are doing exactly what you want to do, then have a look at like their, their process of how they do that. Um, and it's fine to have a look at someone else's work and then go, oh, and then go and create your own version of it. So you don't mm. want to copy, you don't want it to look, you know, the mm. same, but you can definitely get inspiration from it. 
Okay. They got inspiration from somewhere. Like if you actually Googled what they did, you probably get a million different versions on, yeah. on um, Google. Yeah. Images. But yeah, always use your own. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. Great. Thank you. And, and just like, you know, with the whole, you know, well, what does Lexi stand for? You know, and then come up with those kind of quotes and, and stuff as well. And yeah. Put them within your content. Yeah, cool. So if I see things, I might take a screenshot of it and put it on my phone. And then I just like put it into a folder on my phone for inspo. And then sometimes if I've got like writer's block, I'll just go through and have a look. And then there might just be one line in something. And I go, ah, oh, and it remind me of a story. Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. cool. So, Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. 17 to 23. Um, okay, so lead generation on Facebook. I've heard some coaches say to join groups where your ideal client is friend request the people in that group and then start building relationships with them before ultimately asking them to join your group and potentially asking them to jump into a call once you've built a relationship with them. Uh, what do you think about this approach? I don't want to be the person who steals members from groups. <laughs> These coaches would say, you can't steal as everyone owns, <laughs> no one owns a person that ultimately is up to the individual whether they're such a thing. So I'm sure people do this from my group. There's about two people that I'm pretty confident right now. Um, ethically, go with your gut. Yeah, okay, good. That's all. Oh, I've answered I think it there. There's nothing I'm... wrong with hanging out in other groups, right? So you could hang out in Real Entrepreneur Women's, right? Mm. There's nothing wrong with hanging out in those groups and adding value, but I it's like a lot of those groups have rules around friending people. Yeah. And if you friend them and, and they have, do you know what I mean? Without asking first in the group, yeah. so people put a post up and then they go, Oh, I'll send you a private message. So there are rules like that within groups. Yeah. Um, so just be mindful of, about that. But ultimately um, there's nothing wrong. Like if you're showing up in those groups and adding value, you know, like we do Monday motivation in our group, you know, you can do a, um, a, a video or something in there around that topic. Okay. People are going to just generally want to connect with you anyway. The yeah. first way to grow your group. I mean, look, I'm not going to say to do this because I wouldn't personally do it. Um, mm. I'm sure you could, but there are other ways to do that through a download, a free training, invite people yeah. in that way because they're actually yeah. joining them because they want to, and they're interested in what you have to say. Just on that group, because we've just talked about your group um, and it's something that I've thought of, but I've been meaning to ask you about in your promote yourself Thursdays, is that what kind of thing would I use that for? Because I want to start using some of those opportunities as well. Um, would that be a lead magnet or a webinar or only a opt in, get them to opt into something. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. And that's okay? An opt-in is okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Promote awesome. your business. Tell about how amazing you are. Tell about the results you got for someone. Tell about a story you overcome. Uh, okay. You know, it's got to got to be about them. So if you see, yeah. like, through that stuff, people just talk about themselves. Yes. I'm learning so much about this whole, like, you got to talk about your client, not about what you do. you got to talk about the outcome for them. Which actually talks about you. But yeah. Not. And that shows that you are focused on your clients. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, look, there are definitely some free groups that you can do that. Um, and sometimes you have massive success on one post and then you'll put it in a different group and then nothing. Um, but, I mean, they're free, so give it a go. But I would have, like, a post ready to go and then, and then drop them in on those days. Yeah, cool. Okay, thank you. Ultimately, you want to be getting people to your group through either um, – like a free opt-in, um, you can even promote your group, you can reach out and add all your friends in, you can ask people to invite people in. Um, yeah, I'm just about to start doing that, like contacting all my friends and inviting them to my group and also I want to invite them to a couple of the other, like your group and Julie's and Julie's group as well if they're, um, you know, and just, and just reconnect with everyone. Yeah. I'll just give you a really quick, like, um, I'm going to do a proper thing on this, but I'll just, while you laser here, I'll give you a really quick thing on groups, right? So um, you want to have a really clear professional image, cover image that represents your brand, consists of a picture of you uh, and the group name and tagline stating what your group helps or teaches people about. Mm -hmm. Then 
in the about section clearly explain what the group offers. As people join, introduce yourself as well and always include your booking URL. Then the daily video, like if you try to do one around the same time every day, because that consistency and persistency is really important. So have your really compelling headlines, you know, your disruptor titles uh, and interesting con content about what they want to learn. Create a schedule of what you'll feature in your group. So, you know, you can mark it as an announcement at the top of your page. So, you know, we have, um, you know, Motivation Monday, uh, something on Wednesday and promote yourself Thursday, right? So you could create that as the pin post at the top as well. Mm -hmm. Also one of your pin posts has to be your, your lead magnet, like getting in. And so when people join, so you could do a post every week. I think I see you doing it, Lexi. And you tag everyone in and get them to um, introduce themselves. You could also have, you know, don't forget to get your free and whatever the lead magnet is. Yeah. Um, um, and at any time, if you need help, feel free to book in a call with me and you can have your booking call. Like always, always has to have a call to action. Always. Because mm -hmm. people sitting there at that time, then what did um, Nick said 11 times online pe for online marketing, 11 times people have to see your work. So they might not book in a call with you straight away, but it'll be in their mind. Like I've had someone I've been chatting with for ages and I woke up this morning to a message from her saying, Oh, I really want to chat with you, but I don't want to waste your time. Right. And so then it was an over overcoming objections so that she realizes she's not going to be sold to. Um, yeah. And yeah, so she's probably going to book in a call with me now, but we've been, we've been messaging for months and months and months and she's been in the group. So she's just caught, it's just that constant, like reconfirming, reconfirming, you know, we talked about with the customer journey mapping, you've got to show up and be consistent. Yeah. And own your voice and your message. I don't talk about prices in the group. So now I don't talk about prices. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, every image, every video, every piece of content that you put into the group should have your booking URL. Invite them to get on a call. Natalie, invite them to book on a, to jump on a call with you. Right. If you don't have a booking page, do you have a booking page on your website or something? Um, you want to, you can create your own. If you go to, if you look at mine, and you can feel free to like mirror this or Wealthy Woman Consult. This is my booking page. So I just bought the URL. It's not that expensive. The VA team set it up. Or you can, now if you want, just for now, you can set it up on your website. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the setup cost. Okay. And then, you know, apply for your free. So I apply. <laughs> They're going to apply. I might not take them on. Um, you know, have a read through. It's a little bit about my story. So again, just constantly building that credibility that you know what you're talking about, some of the results you've gotten, what the call will be like and asking them to pick a time. So this, mine is linked in with um, youcanbook.me and then I've got some testimonials and stuff in there as well, which is really important. Okay, so you can invite them to a page on your website. So now you can just go to that URL link, which is wealthywomanconsult.com. I'll put it in the chat group as well if you want. Um, but every single post you do, invite them in. Invite them to have a call. Invite them to um, invite them. Now, you might come up with like your own little call thing, like that you would call it. And maybe it's a, um, I'm sure you come up with a creative name because you're really, you know, that's your creative side. But um, invite them in into like a, uh, a free complimentary 15 minute and you could kind of map out like this vision for this uh, incredible session that you could create for them. You know, like some people think that, oh, they want to have their photos done, but they don't really know what they want to do. And they don't want to look like everyone else with white t-shirts and denim jeans. And, you know, so your, your thing could always be, you know, well, let's, let's book in a 15 minute or a 10 minute, you know, it doesn't have to be long. Could even just be 15 minute and then come up with a name. So mine's called um, Wealthy Woman Consult, but it's a strategy mapping session. But what would yours be for your business? And always invite them in. So you share great content, add value, show some of your work, share some testimonials, share a story, you know, follow the, the uh, module three, Sassy Sales, I'm sorry, visibility module. Follow that sex, sex, six step process. <laughs> Not sex. Oh, 
I don't know if Facebook ads will let you put sex in it, but. Um, and then at the end, always that call to action. But you know what, this is, so yours could be, you know, like every single one of my clients, we design a unique tailor-made photography experience or something, but come up with some really cool names. So same with all of you, every post always has that call to action. Invite them in, invite them in, invite them in, invite them in. Okay. Uh, anything else is Facebook. Sorry, I had some notes because I'm going to do an extra training for you on it. Um, get your challenges up. Five-day challenge, 14-day challenge in your group, right? So you can have every day, right? But people have to, you say you're going to do a challenge. You could do a poll and come up with three different titles, three different like challenge, you know, so it covers one key outcome. So it could be visibility for me. It could be what's one of the big ones, you know, that people get stuck with. And you could do a poll in your group and say you're going to create a challenge and it's going to be around and which, which three do they want to, um, which of the three do they want and people can vote around what, what they want to, the challenge to be. And then you could run that the following week for five days. So just Facebook Lives, short, 10-minute sessions, 15-minute. At the end of the call, everyone, if you want to chat, let's have a, you know, if you want to, if you want to work, you know, you know the calls. You know the end of the calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? And then at the end of those five days, you can, you can share your whole program with them. Right? Live on that call. Yeah. Yeah, you've given value. You've teach them through that whole session. You give them little tips every day to go away and do something. And at the end, this is how we work together. Okay? Yeah, cool. Uh, welcome new people. Yep, let them know about your booking URL, any free opt-ins you have to get them started. Make sure your free opt-in links into your booking page as well. So I'm going to update that on mine too. So after they've got it, it goes then to a booking page. All right, Lexi, next question. Cool. Question about my niche. How important is it to have super specific? So many coaches say that if you include the word or, then you're not being specific enough. Single women or women in relationship. To be honest, it's irrelevant for your ideal client is in a relationship, the things that get to work on situation. Yeah, I read this through before. Um, at the moment, my ideal client is a woman who's been through yeah. shit in her life and has the scars to prove it. And she's carrying around emotional baggage on her shoulders like it's weighing the whole, you know, like it's the weight of the whole world. And it's getting in the way of just about everything that she does. By the way, what you just wrote then is brilliant. That's a really good copy. Oh, cool. <laughs> so that resonates more with me than the name. That to yeah. me, like when I was, but when you started writing that and I'm like, yeah, that felt real. That felt connected. Yeah. It felt so, good writing it. It felt like I was speaking about her exactly. This here? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you're really getting to that point now where you are really in her head and you yeah. are really starting to elaborate on the great copy we've already got down for your offer. So it is just really getting, so, you know, creating videos and stuff like this. So your question around your niche, how important is it to be super specific? Look, what am I doing? I'm coaching, guiding, leading female entrepreneurs that are ready to rise and become wealthy on all levels. Yeah, so whether for you, whether they're in a relationship or not is irrelevant. Whether they have children or not is irrelevant. Whether that, okay. So what I, I was getting caught on some of the questions because I felt like I had to make a decision about whether she, for example, had children or not. Yeah, well, that depends. So, for instance, um, um, Jasmine is marketing directly to mums in business. Yeah. Right? So for her, it's, it's, it's relevant. relevant. But even for someone who does have kids, like let's use that example for your business. Let's say someone who does have kids, how's that showing up for her as a mum? Mm. And then someone that doesn't have kids, how's that showing up for her when she doesn't have kids? Maybe she wants to have kids, but she, hasn't, she doesn't have the confidence in herself to put herself out there and date. So yeah. she's got this dream of becoming a mum, but because her confidence is holding her back, She's not actually going on dates or she's not 
she doesn't feel good in her skin to be ready to date. Yeah. I feel like it's going to evolve over time and then I'll be like the single woman specialist in who, you know, people that want to get, a, women that want to get a relationship kind of thing. That's cool. But at the moment I don't want to niche it down, but all I'm hearing because I'm a bit focused on niche at the moment and messaging and just um, doing all this so that I can do my Facebook group and all of that. I've just been hearing all of this, like you've got to get so specific and you have to know your answers and you can't, it can't be this or this. It's got to be only one thing. That's two things you just said then, right? So if you want to be the coach that coaches single women to claim back their voice, get confident so that they can put themselves out there and attract the man of their dreams, then that is a niche and that's a great yeah. one. And if you want to be known as the woman who helps people connect and have sex and have relationships and all of that, then go for that. If you want to be a mindset coach for women who are over 40 and have kids or like, mm. because you just actually said then that that's what you wanted to do. So it really just comes down to you. And the reason is that if, if at the, at the end of it, if you want to help women who are single, who are holding back from putting themselves out there so that they can meet the men or woman of their dreams, Mm. then that's a very specific message, which is great, yeah. which is really great. And then people will be like, oh, my God, like, you got to go to Lexi. I met my husband now. It's like eHarmony. Yeah. Every day, people I'm falling in love on Lexi Carroll's program. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. So last night I was cuddling with Toby as my son and we were watching TV and the eHarmony e ad came up and he goes, and it finished, he goes, mum, get your phone. We should go on eHarmony. And I was like, oh, okay. What, like, why would we do that? And he goes, oh, well, maybe not you because you're already with dad. He goes, but can you put, let's, let's do it. Let's put me on there. And he goes, I want to see what it's about. He's seven. And I said, oh, that's so funny. I'm like, so what, what would we, um, like, what would you be looking for? And he goes, oh, I don't know. What do I do? And I said, well, I, you know, you're looking for a girlfriend. He goes, yeah, yeah, girlfriend. I said, well, how old do you want her to be? He goes, oh, four months younger than me. <laughs> and then and I was like, so okay, gorgeous. so like, what do you want her to look like? He goes, I would like color skin like me. <laughs> and then he goes, and I said, okay, what colour hair? Hair like you. <laughs> and he goes, go on, put it up. Let's see what happens. And I'm like, oh, I can't until you're 18. He goes, oh, let's just pretend then. Put it up anyway. I was like, oh, oh that's so funny. Sorry, I just, oh. It was one of those moments where I'm just like, oh, so cute. That's so cute. Does that help? Um, yes. So I think... So what I have been, like how it's turned out with my clients um, that I have been working with is I've been doing emotional work and mindset work with them, which yeah. is kind of the foundations of my program in terms of like we've got to get all that shit sorted before we can do anything else. And that's what I believe anyway. Um, so but then I don't need to... to Oh, huge. Like the market is huge. It's hard to work out where to find the people because I don't know what they're searching for. I don't really know what they're searching really? for because I think a lot mean, of women. Wouldn't they be searching for RSVP and. Um... Oh, sorry. I thought we were talking about the um, uh, helping people with emotion, like get over emotional stuff. Oh, right. So wondering what they're searching for, I think that's good for Google ads, but for Facebook ads, it's all other things as well. So it could just yeah. be, yeah. Like they could be, they could be looking at Vogue magazine and they could be like looking at surface stuff. 
Because they're not this really is the dealing first time I've heard you talk around um, coaching like single women. Oh, so that was just an example. Sorry. Right. Okay. So that was just when I said um, I feel like it's gonna I'm gonna be called into, for example, single women who are looking okay. to get a relationship. It could be um, married women who want to reignite their. That was that's just an example right, of. Okay, so you don't want to be a singles coach. No. Oh, okay. I was like, okay. No, sorry. The right. emotions coach. Right, okay. <laughs> that's what is resonating with me right now. So for me, it's about relative it's about being able to connect. So mm -hmm. if if where they are in their life is super important, right? It could be like when you do your video, you could say, um, you know, like if you're doing a video about something that's blocking them and it's like I want to ask you a question how mm -hmm. what is not having blah 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 actually costing you yeah right and so you know maybe you know if you're married maybe it's costing you that real deep loving connection with your husband or your your partner yeah you know where you feel happy in your skin you know to be able to have wildly crazy sex or whatever it is right yeah or yeah. maybe if you're if you're a new mum, then what's that costing you you could say or maybe you're not even at the kid stage yet or not even thinking oh, cool. about it so and then what's good. that costing you okay so, this is so good to hear you say that that or that because that's how i've yeah. been writing so you might be in this situation and this is the outcome for you or you might be in this situation but it's all these or, or like this or this or this yeah that's fine okay great cool so me, then right so i'll give you an example right so as a business coach some people are coming to me who are just getting started right? So yeah. I'm saying maybe you're just getting started, but you don't want, you know, you want to get it done right the first time, right? So that it doesn't cost you time, money, and you can just yeah. get on with it. Or maybe you've been in business for like 10 years. Okay. You just can't get out of the time for money trade-off, right? Yeah. You still have to clock hours in order for you to make any money. You still haven't been able to, you haven't, you haven't got it rocking. You, you literally just bought yourself a job. So you can say, yeah. you can use those different stages. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, great. This is great. This is very helpful now. Thank you so, so I'm much. I'm still talking to the same person, but they just might be at different stages. So I could be talking to Lexi yeah. before she started her business. And then I'm talking to yeah. Lexi 10 years in, you know, like if Lexi of actually did yeah. help from me at the beginning yeah. when she started her business, what's Lexi going to be like 10 years from now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Does that help? And I'm the same thing when I'm talking about, for example, her relationship status. It's the single in a relationship, married, has kids. It's yeah. just different parts of her journey, but it's still the same person who has the emotional baggage going on that is like stifling her and getting in, in the way of her progressing at work and yeah, having so, great relationships and all that stuff, yeah. It's almost like, you know, if, if you didn't get this stuff sorted before you got married, what is that, how's that now showing up for you? Yeah. Yeah, there's heaps. There's heaps I could go. And I love asking the question. Like, ask, ask a question. Like, you know, you might talk around a, a specific topic or but it's like, what's it costing you? Mm. What's, what's not you know, putting you first actually costing you. You know, if you're single, yeah. what's it costing you? The co like the confidence to put yourself out there to actually finally create an eHarmony profile or, you know, to say yes to your friends who have been banging on you to set you up with their best friend, you know, one of them, you know, on a blind date or whatever it is. Yeah. Or if you, if you are married, you know, what's it costing you? So I think if you can put, yeah, put your shoes, put your feet in the shoes of, of your Lexi at the different stages and, and talk to it like that. Because the other thing is, is that as you talk to it about someone who is single, you're also actually saying to them, well, if you don't get this sorted before you get married, then what's it going to cost you then? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. 
Cool. All right. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. Amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> yes. All right, Julie, I would really benefit from some key organisation, gosh, she's a corporate girl, isn't she? Some key organisation and time management technique tools. Do you have some to share for sure? All right. I'm gonna do, 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 do. All right, let me just come off share. So, oh, hang on, how did we go on that one? That was like... Sorry, if I don't do that, then it makes it very hard for Mensch to send out the thing. Okay, so Jules, what are we talking here? Like just general organising your life, uh, business? Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be just that some general things because it's been something that I have done never and I have rebuilt it. I sort of need some key things that could just allow me to get a little bit of a, a even an idea around um, you know, between the kids, between other commitments that I have and then and then what I need to put into my business, I'm finding that I get a really good four days at one thing, then a really good two days at something else. And then uh, there's no real um, flow of each of them through my, through my days. And so each space takes me into a different mindset and a different, like, energy and environment. Um, and then now I've just gone into school holidays, so I know that's going to have an impact on on how I flow and how I don't. So a couple of weeks ago when everything was going well, I just had some key things of having like a couple of posters that had stuff on it, but I still had to really, you know, it just took, a t it, was, it was taking me too out of my comfort zone and I wasn't sustaining, yeah, I wasn't sustaining what I was doing because it's all just too new. And I still think underneath, I still rebel too much restriction. Yeah. I just want some simple things that I can do, feel the flow, and then incorporate the next thing, incorporate the next thing. Perfect. Okay, cool. Thank you. That just helps me to get really clear on exactly what you're asking for. One of the best things that helped me in the beginning, and I think now I just do it um, and don't realize, because it's like any, any new strength or new tool, is time blocking. You've probably heard it before. It is a really simple thing to do. Uh, you can literally do it from if you have a paper calendar or you can create a whiteboard and put it up uh, somewhere and block um, create the week in like chunks of time, whether it's two hours or three hours or whatever it is, morning, lunchtime, afternoon, evening for each day. You can have before 6am, morning, lunchtime, afternoon, evening. Yeah. And do that for Monday to Sunday. And then you could do it in an Excel document as well. Um, for those that like computer better. And then what you do is think about any given week and then put in like, you know, things that you have to do every week. So whether it's activities for the kids or pick up or drop off or um, specific meetings, maybe certain days, Julie, that you're working with your husband. Um, Natalie, it could be the days that you want to do your shoots, right? So you might say, <coughs> You know, Wednesday, Thursday are the ideal days that you want to do your shoots or whatever it is, right? Lexi, you could have um, coaching mornings. So what I do is <coughs> I have um, mine kind of mapped out. I know what I'm doing. So, you know, now Monday lunch times are all class. So you put in like I put in my classes for my mastermind. I put in all of Stella's um, activities that she does and you color code them. So Anything that is stellar is purple. Anything that is mastermind is red. Anything that is, um, you know, meetings is blue. Anything that's uh, real entrepreneur mum stuff is yellow. Uh, so, and you color block. But what I find is really good to do is that you might say, okay, well, Monday's my day that I create my content, right? So you might have two hours blocked out in the morning, Julie, and that's when you just brain dump a whole heap of different content. You know, like you get the content ready for the following week, for instance, and you can kind of map out, okay, what am I doing this week? And you might spend that two hours every Monday or Sunday evening, if that works better for you, and kind of plan out your week. Mm -hmm. And then 
So you really go through and time block what you're doing. So that, that way it allows you to, you know exactly what you're doing every week. And depending on your life, it may change every week and you may need to do it on the Sunday before, right? Mm. For this week. And you can use last week's as a, um, as a template and then just rub out whatever you want to do. Because then mm. when Monday comes or you go to bed on Sunday night, you know what's coming tomorrow and you know what you mm. need to do. So the time blocking really helps because then if something comes up, you get an email about something, but you actually haven't allocated time for that until tomorrow, then you can go, mm. just leave it for tomorrow. Maybe you only do emails three times a week and you only check emails and you only do your emails in non-client times. So for instance, um, late at night or, mm. you know, so, so that you are spending most of your time in, um, like it's called like uh, income producing hours, which is when you can actually be talking to people, booking calls in, doing your lives or whatever. So that's one way. So time blocking. Think about everything you need to do. It all has to align to your goals and prioritize. So mm. the other thing I do, Jules, is I go, well, what's my goal for this week or this month, right? And then you've got to break it down. So what's the number one thing I have to do today? So mm. if you look at the week coming, you know, right, Monday, I have to do this. It's an outcome thing, right? So it's a task. So I have to write my content for next week. I have to follow up on five calls, five leads. So you know exactly what you're doing and you, you planned it out for the week to come. So that when that day comes, you know that's what you're doing and you just go and do it. So mm. each day you're not waking up going, oh, shit, what do I have to do? And you kind of spend a lot of time in this planning or trying to figure it out. And then you mm. just can slot it in. Yeah. I have like a big, like I just have the, one of my notebooks and I just put everything in there that I need to do. But what I do is I then do a line and an asterisk. And I, as I pick them off and as I go and take them, right, these are the ones I need to do today. Well, these are the ones I need to do this week. And then I go and plan them into my diary. Mm. does that help yeah yeah and that's that's sort of plenty for me to actually then go do now and apply that um because it'll be if i have a couple of clients or somebody's called i always want to I, I usually do a thing where i check in with them two days later or i so even to keep that planned yeah. because some days i'm just like oh my gosh i haven't called them i haven't messaged them i haven't done this and then um on saturday when i just had a i had a day that i do once every three months with a spiritual shop um, energetically, it, it smashed me big time. So I, the next day I didn't get done what I needed to do because I just, you know, like it's things like that, that I don't, I, I overcommit myself in a week yeah. and um, I get it done, but then that can potentially smash me out for a week. So it's sort of incorporating um, something in between two uh, big days that I know energetically it takes my... Um, can you see that? That's my Google. Yeah. Account. That's for a month though, which looks a bit crazy, but it's not, right? So on any, what, do you use a Google calendar? So that, that has been actually my probably saving grace this last two weeks is I've just put it in the daily thing because it doesn't look like that, but it's a daily one. And then I, it gives me a week um, warning and a two day warning when something's coming up. Yeah. Um, but if it wasn't for the warnings, I don't go into it to check. <laughs> yeah. I, so I'm still I'm, using yeah, my brain. Yeah. So, yeah. So you know what, like Julie, if you were in your corporate job, every day you'd be checking your calendar. What meetings do I have on today? Where do I have to be? But we don't do it in our own business, right? So yeah, look at your meetings, get them all in. Yeah. So and then, so if you have a call with someone, while you're on the call with them, say I'm going to check in with you in two days. What time works best for you? And so you book it in then and there, and you schedule it in and send them an invite for a, a ten minute chat. Yeah. So, and then it's in your diary. So you've got to get into the routine of making sure it's in and pick cut, pick different colors for different things. So, you know, family could be pink, you know, whatever it is, but say, but blocking your family stuff as well. The other thing Daniel yeah. and I do, because he won't have a Google calendar with me because he is so change resistant, is we have a paper calendar in the kitchen, like the old school days. Yeah. And, um, Anything that is where one of us is going to be out of the house, 
and the other has to have the kids or we're going to a family event or stuff for the kids. And that goes on that calendar. And so if any of us want to book anything, we just check and see. We check with each other, but we can also see what's on that. So yeah. I'd prefer us to have it in the Google document, but so then I've got to add it in both places. But that works. That works for his little head. Well, that's it. It's working in because the kids like the paper one here. They like it. Grant, Grant forget it. I just email his receptionist and I get her <laughs> to put in her diary and she just tells him, you know, so... It's working with everybody else's needs too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's Google Docs. It's a Google Doc um, Calendar. It's not um, Outlook Calendar. So I'm just using Outlook Calendar. I'm not in, I don't do enough in Google Docs. I need to really. Yeah, Google's awesome. You've got Google All right, Docs, yeah. Drive, Google Calendar. All right. Um, yeah, because then it all works together too. All right. I'll have to look into that. Um, but yeah, like, for some reason, I wasn't using a online diary, but for all of my corporate stuff, I would always use an online diary. I know, I know right? Yep. Yeah. So put the same hat on, get the same kind level of um, rigor, mm. rigor in your business. Mm. So yep. Time block, be really clear on what you're doing and it has an outcome. Yeah. And even on the weekends, so for me, like I like to write things generally on the weekends, but... So something happened. So Lex was asking around content, right? So I'm going to do a video on this later. And it gave me an idea. So yesterday, this idiot is the nicest way I can put it. So I did a post or a video on Thursday in our big group saying today's cancelled. And it was a story about Stella who had forgot her dress, her dance costume um, yeah. from swimming lessons, right? And so I was a bit of a story about her, but then I went into how this, you know, how this relates with all of us with business. And this woman wrote in the comments, after everyone else had already wrote all these funny stuff and, you know, it was all around resilience, right? She just wrote, do you allow your kid, do you allow your children to be children? And I, yeah. I was like, she wrote this yesterday and I was just like, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? I, and, then, yeah. and then like, so I get very pissed off and defensive when anyone does that to anyone else, never alone if they do that to me, right? Because mm. I'm not judging anyone for your life, how you choose to raise, right? But clearly this woman, one, didn't know that I was the fucking CEO of the company that she was posting on. Or she did, she just didn't care. Two, she clearly had not seen or known any of the other content that we've ever put up um, yeah. because how hard we worked to actually have a day with Stella where she could finally go to dance that she's been begging us for for five years, right? So, and then to have that comment and then I was like, oh, and I wrote underneath, I'm like, yeah, of course. And then I, and then I wrote another comment and I'm like, interesting question. What do you mean? <laughs> and then um, turns out she's removed herself from the group. Good, because I was going to remove her today. And mm. I checked and she's like friends with me on Facebook. Um, and then I looked, she doesn't even have her own fucking kids. Do you want to, and it just got me so angry because there are people who just love to be assholes who mm. know nothing about you, but yet we allow it to affect us so much. So I was angry at her. Mm. I was so mm. fucking angry at her. And all I wanted to do was to bring out Sophie that's like, if you don't want to see that one. Right? <laughs> and then I'm like, you know, but who, blah, blah. And then I was trying to be nice. And I was like, no, because there are people like that everywhere and you need to cut them out of your life. Yeah. Just and, and even more so what you said, it's, it's about how to you respond. Like you, you're not always aware of when it emotionally grabs you inside and you just... Whoosh. And it's being able to catch yourself in that because if we sit here and discuss it, we know it's about them. We know, you know, especially with a big sort of pri um, public page space like that, you're going to get the people who actually come in to do the poking. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a massive thing when it, when it triggers us <laughs> like that to check in to go, I am certain what I do. I know what I do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even when we do practices or whatever, I know heaps of people who like shake their head that I let my, son and he started at 2.30 on a two and a half on a motorbike but the thing is 
you know your children and what it might look like to somebody else's way of doing life is. But to come in with no like really relativeness at all to do that, there's a different agenda that they have. And I think that's the resilience we need to build as, um, as a business owner because we're going to have that um, in that social media space. It just yeah. seems to be that trolling thing that they do. I mean, <laughs> there's so much about that. Per I mean, but coming yeah. to a free group, that's my free group, that's a support group, and then dig at, that person like is just like how did you think that this would go like it says so much about you mm. like, what did you think would happen that people would go oh she got you she's smarter than you like you <laughs> idiot anyway I just want to share that with you because even I have that but yeah and, and I think as well because I'm so fiercely protective of culture like as Julia would know, and I just and I just and I always say like we are not clicky, bitchy, complaining mm. people. We're here to support each other and back each other and get shit done and have fun. So if you don't align to that, there's other groups that you can be a bitch at. So anyway, I'm gonna do a Facebook live about it. So the point of that story was Lexi, Nat, Julie, whoever's watching the recording. Little things will happen in your life. Use that. Create content out of it. Yes. Yeah. So, Lexi, yeah. you know, like how you've been hit a lot with, you know, health and stuff because you've been, you have been rising, 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 but not looking after yourself at the same rate, right? So, it's knocking you down. So, when you share, come on and share, you know, those, the, the challenges that you've had in emotional, what's the teaching? It's always got to be the the lesson right always the lesson the the outcome and this is why i do what i do because even i have days like this so i know that you're having them too and that's why i do what i do because i want to support you yes yeah? so it's always there's always a lesson there's always a learning it's always an outcome and there's always an invitation to connect natalie no matter what you're doing there's always an invitation to connect invite them in yeah you create us some new fancy packages invite them in uh you know whatever it is invite 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 all right anything else today we're going to wrap up Great I just question. gotta say that's so funny because you saying invite them in plays over in my head now <laughs> I can hear you. It's like on repeat, invite them in, invite them in, invite them to a call. Yep. <laughs> and one of the biggest things for me is, look, I don't expect, you know, for me to be the only person that you listen to, right? Because there's so much stuff out there. But when you are levelling up and you're really trying to get clear on what you're doing and what your offer is and stuff, um, sometimes blocking out distractions is really important. Yeah. Yeah. So when I, when I pay to work with a strategist, I want to learn from that person. Um, mm. And so that's why I don't really listen to other podcasts and stuff because it distracts me as opposed to inspires me. Unless I'm listening to it because I'm wanting to, you know, get some ideas on content or stuff like that. So just be mindful of sometimes having too many different voices in your head um, actually just creates confusion. And if you're yeah. confused, you don't, you, you don't act. Yeah, and what I've realised just about around the niching stuff, because I was looking for some specific information on niching and uh, asking you one question has just answered that and I could have saved quite a bit of time. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it's really freebies are about a sale. They're not. Just for some, some coaches are amazing at giving really great value, but some actually aren't. Some aren't good at all at giving value. They, they, it's just a sale dressed up to look like value, but there's but nothing in there. In, in, in the video structure, it is a little tip, a teaching, a story, a, you know, an, a case study of something that happened for one of your clients. Like that's giving value. Mm. You don't have to. You don't have to give away your content. Like Nally doesn't have to give away photo shoot and give away to add value. Mm. Right. That's my question, actually. What can I give? Like, how, how do I give value without giving away, like, what it is that I do and what I've learned 
over the years and does that make sense yeah so think about like the types of conversations that you have with your clients and not just directly at what's about the photos um but what's happening for them so if you're having a conversation with a new mum or um a um like a pregnant lady or whatever and based on your two children that you've had there's probably some tips and stuff in there that you can share as well that are relative directly to that and you can share a story how you know, oh, I, was, I saw this post the other day and it just reminded me of a conversation I had with Kate, one of my newborn, um, one of my uh, clients who had a newborn baby. And while we were shooting, she was, we were talking around, I don't know, sleep. And, um, you know, as a mum of two girls who are now, however old they are, you know, not having sleep just feels like such torture. So um, some of the things that we spoke about, I wanted to share it with you, were great tips that she was using. Um, that were helping her to get more sleep, especially in those early weeks. So, and you could talk about what they are, you know, so, and, and by doing that one, you got to talk around the fact that you're a newborn photographer without coming across salesy. <laughs> Two, you got to share a bit about you, that you've got older children and a bit of humour around, oh my God, sleeping, you know, that just feels like a lifetime ago having a newborn baby. But what, what Kate and I were talking around was, and together we both agreed that this is the number one thing that we found helped both of us. And so I had to share it with you because if you are a mum to be or uh, Lexi, if you're a mum to be, or you've just had a new baby or you've got a toddler who's still not sleeping, then you have to listen to this. <laughs> Did you like that? I'm shutting out distractions, Sophie, because that was really good. You are but good. that's what I've just been told not to do. And that's what you've just said is relevant. Well, how is that? How does that not? Isn't that real though? Yeah. I think I think it comes under. Is it irrelevant? She she, she does say is it relevant? No, so it's this case. If you want to be known as the coach that helps single women find love mm. by finding love in themselves first then no, that is a very specific niche. Mm. But if you want to help women in business, then it doesn't matter if they're married or not married. Yeah, it's irrelevant, yeah. But when you're talking about your stories and you're sharing a video, you can definitely say the fact that they haven't backed themselves and they haven't invested in themselves and they haven't overcome whatever this thing is holding them back, it's like, what's that costing you? Yeah. What's that costing your marriage? And if you're not married yet, what's that costing your social life? Are you even dating? Do you secretly want to have kids, but you're, but you're not willing to put yourself out there? Like, does that make sense? So it's... Yeah. It's a different frame. But if you, if you, want, to, like if you want to be a specific, help people for a specific part of their life, then that, that definitely, that's a niche and that's amazing. Yeah. So Natalie can take photos for anyone, right? Anyone could have photos, mm. but she still needs to niche into, is she talking to a mom? Is she talking to, sorry, not necessarily mom, but, a, a, but her, her niche is um, newborn photography, right? And family. Mm. So she's talking to someone. Which who, is a great niche, yeah. Who is either pregnant or trying mm. to have a baby. Because someone who's even trying to have a baby is looking at baby photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone on IVF is looking at baby photos. Um, now, she mm. could niche and become the IVF baby photographer, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> but it would probably make sense if she herself went through the struggle of IVF to have her own babies because mm. her story would be very relative. So if you were going to be a single woman coach who for 30 years didn't have sex because she was too scared to put herself out there and then finally she got the help she needed and fell in love like within a year and had babies... Mm. And that's when that, that story would relate very closely to your niche. Yeah. And the emo overcoming emotional shit, burdens, is uh, my story. Yeah. That's definitely my story. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And you can evolve. Nothing, that, nothing is set in concrete. You yeah. can have multiple programs, Lexi, right? You can have one program for mental health, you could have a program for something else and you could just market it differently. 
Like there's not, yeah. but for now, let's just get one program, one offer, yeah. one marketing message and just do that for now. Yeah. Evolve over the years. Cool. Thank you. Oh, does that help Natalie answer your question around? Yeah. 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 It's a story, 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 story. And just so, so, you know, think back to these conversations that you've had with people or something that someone said, remember what I was talking to you around, you know, what does your client's face look like the first time they see their baby's photo blown up like this, mm. or even when they open that book? Yeah, talk to that. Talk about, oh my God, I have to tell you because this is my favorite part of doing what I do. So as you know, I'm a newborn photographer and I get to, I'm invited into the most incredible life moments for my clients. Like they've just had the teeniest, tiniest baby and they're like this big, right? And I get to come in and share in this moment with them. But my ultimate favorite moment is the face on mum and dad when they finally open up the, um, the album and they see their baby and their face and they cry and I cry and they cry more and I cry more. <laughs> like that is a cool video. That shows me that you are exactly like the, Natalie that I know who is so emotionally connected to her clients is not funny. It's like she's in their family. That's how much she loves her clients. So those little videos like that, Natalie, just think about all those little moments and things and then create a little video about it and share that like, this is why I love what I do. And then pop up a little, so pop up a little photo of one of your, your latest work. You know, every time you do a photo shoot, do a video about it. Mm -hmm. You know, go back and do, think about every single client you've done or go back and look through the things and then come up with one or two stories for each shoot. What was it about the family? Mm -hmm. You know, you've got, there's so much content there ready for you. It's just going, finding it. Yeah? yeah. All right. I'm going to go pick up my kids. Have a fabulous day. You've got Julie tomorrow. Lucky you, ladies. Oh, awesome. I wonder what Thank she's you. going to do because we're going to be doing all random stuff with Julie. We're going to be doing tarot cards. We're going to be doing mindset, mashing. Cool. All sorts of shit. That's at 9.30, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you have anything you want to talk about or work through, got to put it in the Google Doc for her so that she can, if there's anything specific, she'll rouse it up. Otherwise, have a fab class tomorrow, ladies. Love you heat so much. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you so much. Keep going. Keep going, Natalie. Doing great. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Bye, ladies. Thanks. Bye. Bye.